Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create a holiday rental website based on the latest VP Rentals solo demo. The details from this video will be useful for single owners that have their own business and have one property available to be booked. The solo demo was created for this purpose and it is an excellent starting point in creating your holiday rental website. I will show first how to import the solo demo. I have a domain where I already installed the latest theme version and the included plugins. As an extra plugin, I have installed the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin. In VP Rentals theme, we have SVG icons for features and amenities. For the icons to work as expected, the SVG support plugin needs to be installed and for security reasons, the plugin needs to be set to apply only in admin. You need to go to settings and set the restrict to administrator option. Next, I will activate the theme using the Envato license code. I will paste the code here and press check license. My theme is now activated and I can start with the actual demo import. I will go to theme options, import demo. This is the solo demo. I will press import demo, continue and import. The import process might take a few minutes. The demo was imported. I will press visit site. And you can see that you have demo content. Now you can start editing the demo content and add your own details. First, go to team options. In general section, in login and register, you will have the option to manage user settings. Here you will need to replace the demo username with your own. Only the username added here will have full dashboard pages and will be able to submit listings. I will replace the demo username with my own. Before saving this change, I will go back to front end and I will show the user dashboard when a username is added in team options. You will see that only my profile, favorites, my reservation and my inbox pages are available. Now I will save changes and save my username as the user that will have owner access. On front end I will have full user dashboard pages. Now only this user will be able to add new listings and manage bookings. You will need to add in my profile your details. And from my listings, you will be able to add new listings or edit the demo one. You need to press edit property and start changing demo details. Or you can delete the demo property and by going to add new listing, add your own listing. I will use the demo listing to explain how to proceed further. I will go to home page. Here we use the booking shortcode. For the shortcode to work properly, you will need to add your listing ID. I will show how. You need to edit the page with Elementor. Edit the booking shortcode. And here you will need to replace the demo ID with your ID. You can find the listing ID in admin, listings. This is the ID that you will need to copy and add in booking shortcode. We have built the home page as a listing overview. With Elementor you can edit each element from the page and add your own details. You can work with Elementor Navigator to see the sections better. In the first section, you can change the images. You can add images from your listing. You can also change the text. 
and the same can be done for each section. You can change text. Here we used VP Rental Stubs shortcode. Each tab was created with a template. To be able to change the details in each template, you will need to go to Admin, Elementor, Templates, and you will need to edit each template. The details that you change here will apply in Tabs shortcode. Once the home page is done, you can start making the booking settings. By default, the demo uses instant booking and WooCommerce. This means that the owner approval for bookings will be bypassed and once the guest will pay the deposit fee, the booking will be confirmed. As owner, you will be able to manage bookings from user dashboard bookings section. Here you will be able to manage all your bookings. Going back to team options, in social and contact you will be able to add your email address. So all emails from contact forms will go to your email address. From payments and submit, you will be able to make settings for payments. You can leave WooCommerce. And in this case, the WooCommerce plugin will need to be installed. This is the plugin that you need to install. We integrated WooCommerce so you can use any merchant they support. WooCommerce has over a hundred merchants compatible. If you do not wish to use WooCommerce option, you need to disable it and you can use team payments, PayPal, Stripe or wire transfer. From design section, you will be able to add your own colors and change the listing page settings. I hope that you enjoyed this video and the details will be useful. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on new videos.